sleep in the lane for you You just be screaming my name with your new alfajita I smoke to forget my like baby eyes my forever Hi loves, welcome back to my channel I've not done a sit down video in so long But it's been, I think it's been three months since I got my boobs done Maybe almost three months i didn't exactly count but i'm back to do an update on my boob job obviously i'm wearing this sweater right now but i'll have some photos on the screen so you can reference what i'm talking about i posted on my story for you guys to ask me questions and i haven't gone through them i'm literally just gonna scroll through them i don't necessarily have more to add than what i already discussed in my first video um if you have a lot of questions regarding like the actual surgery and like the first like one or two weeks of the healing process then make sure to check it out i'll have a link down below basically after i made that video obviously i continued to heal and i think the only big thing that i noticed was um that during that time my skin was super sensitive like overly sensitive and now it's gone to a point where i have like no sensation at all like they're basically numb um, my nipples are kind of just a little bit sore to the touch but besides that like i have no feeling in them at all which is very strange like it's a strange feeling it's not weird that i have that it's quite normal and common and it is supposed to come back i just don't really know when um but since i did go quite big compared to what i had i'm expecting it to take a little bit longer so that's where i'm at with that and i guess any other things that i want to tell you i will probably be able to do while answering these questions so the first question i got was do you have feeling in your nipple is it still numb so my nipples were numb before they were just like really painful and then the skin on my boob like my boob skin <laughs> was really sensitive but like i said now my nipples still kind of hurt like that but i just have like no sensation at all when asked do you actually feel like it was worth the pain definitely because i only really was in pain those first few weeks um after that video i still was in pain for quite a while definitely took a bit longer than i thought it would it wasn't done in like two weeks i think i definitely had pain for like three to four weeks it slowly just um became less and i just took painkillers like paracetamol and stuff even after i finished the medicine that they gave me at the clinic so um i would definitely recommend that um are you happy with the size yes i have to say one of my boobs was smaller than the other which is very normal and it's still like that now um but i do have to say like if you don't want that make sure to put a bigger implant in the in your boob that's smaller um i do think that when i get them redone in like 10 years um and change out the implant then i'm gonna probably go a little bit bigger but also the boob that's smaller now i'll put in a bigger implant so they're a bit more symmetrical because i'm just a perfectionist like that but also it does look more natural if you have a smaller boob i feel like it just looks like a real tit i guess but yeah i am happy with the size i don't think i should have gone bigger um i think they fit my body very nice um i'm in the process of trying to gain weight because i do feel like because i I'm quite skinny right now they're like very I don't know they make they make my ass look even smaller and I feel like once I've gained a little bit of weight it's all going to even out a bit more and look more natural especially because I have like no fat on top like this is all pretty much just bone and so it's very much like bone and tits sorry if the lighting keeps changing it's starting to rain right now and I'm filming kind of late during the day. Oh my god, there's a crazy rainstorm right now. I'm glad I'm inside. Whoa. Anyways, you need to do massages. My um, doctor or surgeon did not tell me to do that, so I didn't. Um, I'm not sure if you have to, but I wasn't told to do so, so I didn't. How has your self-confidence improved or reduced after three months? It has improved so much. I feel so confident now that I have my boobs. Like, I was already really confident. Let me turn on some lights because it's getting so dark. That's better. It might be a bit yellow, but my confidence definitely has improved since I got them done. I was just kind of missing this, like, feeling of, like, being a woman. Like, I really felt like a little girl. Not saying that if you have small boobs, you're, you're a little girl, obviously. This is just, like, how I personally felt. After I got them done like i just went into like a completely different era of my life like i feel so much more confident in my body and also i don't know like i just feel really good 
I'm really happy I did it. Holy shit. It's storming so bad right now. Do you notice them? Have you start, have they started to feel like they, they were always there? Yes, because when I look back at photos before I got them done, I'm like, I looked like that? Like, I can't imagine not having them anymore now. They definitely feel like they're mine now. Um, they also, I feel like in the beginning, I could really tell that I had like a foreign object like in there, but now I've just kind of like don't even notice it anymore. Do I, can I show you guys? So there's this muscle that I never was able to move and now I can. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can show you. Um, I can like, can you guys see that? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. There's this muscle that I was never able to move and now I can and it feels really weird. Is the scar still visible? Yes, my scar is lightening up. Um, I'm not gonna show you because it's, I think YouTube's gonna demonetize, but um, it's a very thin scar and because I have darker skin, obviously the scar is gonna look dark, but I was looking at it recently and I saw that it was lightening up, so I'm expecting it to kind of be like almost gone in like a few months probably or at least just be like super light and not noticeable so that's great i will put a photo of the scar cream that i got at the clinic when i went for my last checkup um that's what i've been using on it every day after i get out the shower i think you have to do it twice a day but i haven't been doing that because i am lazy did it affect your piercings in any way? Well, yeah, I took out my nipple piercings. I've not gotten them redone yet because I simply don't feel ready. I don't think I will until I've gotten all my feeling and sensation back because, I mean, I could get it done now because I don't have much feeling, but my nipples, like, if I pinch my nipples, that hurts really bad. I'm sitting here pinching my nipples. Like, that's a, it's a really painful feeling. So I don't think I want to do that yet. What did you do with all the lingerie that doesn't fit you anymore? I still have all my bras in a bag because I want to give them away. I just haven't gotten around to it. I have so many things on my list to do. And that's one of the things. And I just haven't done it yet. But I still have my bras and I will be giving them away eventually. Will they change or drop anymore in the next few months? Yeah, I think so. I think as time goes by, they're just going to kind of look more natural every day. And... Um, three months is kind of the time that they tell you that it's it's like your final results but since I did go quite big for my body and my healing process in the beginning already took a lot longer I do feel like it's still going to change a bit but they already look really good to me now I think they could drop a little bit more but like I said I feel like when I gain weight it's also going to look different because I'm just really skinny right now and it's, it's just a lot it's just like bones with tits on it are they still hard or are they softer now so no they're definitely soft now like i'm pinching them and they're like soft um compared to a real boob it's definitely not the same they're more firm than a real boob in my opinion and there's no like with real boobs you will feel like texture and like you'll feel little things like if it's fat or whatever it is anything that's in your boobs you'll feel it and i feel like now it's just like smooth um, so it is a different feeling, but I, yeah, they're not as hard as they were in the beginning. I do think they could still soften up a little bit. Um, they're not there yet, but they are a lot softer now and you can like pinch them as you can tell, like this is fine. This one is softer than this one, I think. Um, and this one's the bigger one as well. So I think this one has a little bit more healing to do Do you still wear the surgery bra or can you go without it? No, so I wore that bra every day and night for six weeks after that i was allowed to take it off so i usually just wear like regular just like bralettes sometimes if i feel like i want some extra support i'll still wear the bra because it is just kind of like nice sometimes or like when i go to sleep but i don't wear it as often i do have to say i'm going to show you because these bras gave me scars um because they're so tight and they were like rubbing on my skin so now i have this you see that this scar right here and i also have it on this side right here so i don't know if that's a common thing but that happened to me from those surgery bras which is annoying are they tender on your periods no not really i haven't noticed much I have to say, I also just haven't really been paying attention to it, um, but I haven't noticed anything crazy. If anything, they might be a bit sensitive when I'm ovulating because I always kind of have that 
issue but you have to keep going back to your doctor for checkups yeah so i have my next checkup in march i have to call them back they tried to call me yesterday um i'm gonna be going back in march for another checkup but the last time i went everything was good that was my six week checkup by the way and or actually it might have been four weeks yeah but at the time everything looked good and so i'm going back in march to do another checkup and i'll probably let you guys know in the vlog how that went has it changed how you sleep yes and no so um i've always been a stomach sleeper or like side stomach kind of um and so for i don't know how many weeks i slept on my back after i think after about two months I was slightly able to sleep on my side like I slowly started transitioning to sleeping on my side but it was still quite painful um, and I got a pregnancy pillow to kind of make it more comfortable for me and I have to say now I think I think since like the past two weeks or something I've also been kind of sleeping on my stomach and like sleeping on my boob I can't lay like that for too long because sometimes it will kind of get sore but I have been slightly sleeping on my stomach so sleeping was really uncomfortable for a really long time like I even spent the first few weeks on the couch because I couldn't get comfortable in bed um, and then I got the pregnancy pill and that really helped me so if you are getting surgery done on your boobs I would recommend getting a pregnancy pillow before it's really nice for sleeping and it just makes everything more comfortable is there any moment where you miss your old boobs I think sometimes when I'm when I want to wear certain tops or like um there's like certain tops that looked a certain way when I had small boobs that I really liked, but I wouldn't go back. And also I think sometimes because I do like showing skin, like I'm either in like oversized baggy clothes or I'm like showing a lot of skin. And sometimes it is kind of like, like if I put on something risque, it instantly kind of looks hoary. Is that a word? Hoary? It kind of just instantly looks a bit slutty, um, which I don't mind, but sometimes I w don't want it to look like that. And I feel like it's harder to obviously make it look more sophisticated than slutty, if that makes sense. But it's not a big issue at all. Like, who cares if I look slutty? It's like, whatever. I'll take it. What are they like during sex? Well, I haven't had sex yet since I got them done. Um, I do have to say, well, like I said, I have no feeling. So getting your titty sucked doesn't really feel like anything. Uh, that's all I can tell you. But I haven't had sex with my boobs yet. Just other things. But couldn't really feel it because there's no sensation there. But I can imagine it would be really nice because I used to always kind of cover my boobs during sex and not really want to even involve them. And now it's kind of like yeah like let's start there <laughs> does it hurt going up and down the stairs or running for example no um in the beginning running felt really weird i think up until like six to eight weeks running felt so weird uh, but now it doesn't really feel like anything but i do hold them because they are a little bit heavier than what i'm used to so any stretch marks that appeared no not that i know of i don't know if that's a thing i've never really thought about if that could give you stretch marks i did have stretch marks on my boots before i got them done um so but like now i don't they're not noticeable at all because the skin's just like super tight and like stretched out was the shape of your chest tattoo altered yes so so my tattoo was never fully centered and it was always a little bit off which i feel like that happens a lot with sternum tattoos and like i don't really care it is a bit more noticeable now so i have thought about maybe going in and getting it fixed or adding something to my tattoo but i just don't really care for it yet but if you do have a bigger sternum tattoo and you're getting your boobs done i would kind of like pay attention to the fact that it could change warp change shapes whatever but i think my tattoo still looks fine and like i don't really care to do anything to it right now maybe in the future but i'm fine with what it's like right now did you do it because of the current standards no i really just did it for myself you regret because you realize not your natural body no i really don't care about not being natural like i don't think that really like matters like it doesn't give you less value like everyone is the same value whether you're natural or not i don't really think it matters and like i paid for them so they're mine so they're part of my body now fuck it a lot of people ask me is it worth it was it worth it to you yes 100 percent. are you at the final size or is the swelling still going down no i have no more swelling the size they're at right now is my final size so i was a 32 
B slash A, like one boob was an A, but I wore a B. And now I'm a 32D, so that's my current size. And that's the size I'm expecting them to stay at. But I do expect them to grow when I gain weight because that's what used to happen to me. Like my boobs would always get bigger if I gained weight, get smaller if I lo lost weight. So um, I do expect them to grow a bit bigger if I gain some weight. Can you get away with casually not wearing a bra without feeling uncomfortable after a few hours? Yeah, I can go a whole day without wearing a bra. Like it, at the end of the day, I will kind of feel it a little bit more because obviously I've like been using the muscles a bit more I guess because there's no other support but if I'm not wearing a bra I'm just wearing a bralette which also doesn't do that much so yeah I'm, I'm not a huge bra wearer anyways would you ever consider going bigger in the long run like I said probably when I get my implants switched out in like 10 years I will or maybe if I have kids before that I might want to change them it just kind of depends on how my body is looking at the moment and I just want it to match my body you know what I mean how long does it take to get back to the gym um so after six weeks you're allowed to go back to the gym i wasn't ready um and i haven't been back to the gym since like the summer <laughs> but after about six weeks you should be allowed to go back to the gym were you worried the surgery would affect you in the future not really um i know there's things like breast implant illness and stuff and if i ever have any symptoms i obviously will look into it but i also am kind of like a i don't give a fuck person like i do other things that are like awful for my health so this is nothing to me i i'm not doing anything crazy i promise but just like there's other things that are probably unhealthier for me that i've done or do and so i just kind of was like i'm gonna do it and if anything happens i'll deal with the consequences then but i'm fine now and I'm just gonna enjoy them. <laughs> do you think they'll ever look like you never got anything done? I do think so because I already feel, especially like fully naked, they already look really natural. And like I said, I think when I've gained weight and maybe after like a few years, I do think they're gonna look more like they're actually mine. Do you ever fear they might rupture? Yeah, okay, so this is definitely, I know that it's very unlikely to happen, but sometimes it is kind of like a weird feeling when I'm like, what if they just like, you know, pop or something? Like that is kind of weird. And I'm definitely still careful that like no one like bumps into it or something or that I hit my boob on something. Um, but I kind of just automatically do that. So it's like a slight fear, but I also know that it's not likely to happen. So do you have any back pains? Um, I did during the first, I'd say six to eight weeks, I was definitely dealing with some shoulder pains in my back because I was getting used to walking differently like I would I don't remember exactly how I walked but my posture wasn't that great because obviously like I was getting used to it and stuff but now I don't really have any issues with that anymore oh yeah did your areola ch is that how you pronounce it areola did your areola size change no they actually didn't um i see my battery is dying so i need to wrap this up they did not um i think they're still the same like sometimes they're bigger and sometimes they get really small mine are never the same size i don't know about you guys sometimes they're like super small and like and sometimes they get really big it just kind of depends um i do have to say the first few weeks they were a lot bigger because my boobs were really warm because something inside was healing so i feel like that had an effect on it but now it just kind of it's the same as what it was before so i think that's it i'm gonna wrap up the video because my battery is dying thank you so much for watching if you have an, any other questions that i haven't answered yet in this video or the last one leave them down below and i'll answer them and thank you for watching